I ran nothing but poly tape to begin with. And then I had a problem, it wasn't getting a shock, so long story short, I had to change my grounding situation. So anyway, I started out with just one ground rod and poly tape. That wasn't effective, so I started troubleshooting and then actually followed directions and added two more ground rods. That still didn't work, so then I watered the ground rods. That didn't work. Then I needed, I figured out that I needed to add the uh, poly rope to the poly tape to get an effective ground. So basically the bottom line here is in the event that it's really, really wet, all four of my poly tape will be hot when the ground is really dry then basically it's the two that have the rope that'll give you the shock so in essence i kind of have two systems going here there's three ground rods here one two and three um we've got the rope there hitting that one going in there and then over to the first ground rod daisy chains back here back here in through there and then hits the ground and then we've got our hots into the this guy into here up and then into there okay and then we have this this guy here we go into the conduit follows the pipe corral up here to right there and then let's see we're on black wire over here and then follows up to there up to there up to there and then over here because we did the jump now I need to ground this side of things because the one over there had the three ground rods basically grounds out all four of them but when conditions are dry only two of them are going to work over there so that means over here i need a ground rod for the two that are grounded with the poly rope here so like i said i have like two systems going well two systems with three sections so it's like that here and then I got one more section where we jump it and run the exact same situation just like this so